You know, Floyd, he's announced his next fight, Marcos Maidana. What do you think of that? Well, you know, look, there was, it came down to two choices, obviously, for him, whether it was Amir Khan or Marcos Maidana. <clears throat> and um, I think they, I'm guessing, I, I don't know this for sure, but it seems like they probably went with somebody that they felt fans would accept as a logical choice um, in some ways because Maidana, you know, he's had a series of wins in a row and his win over Broner, um, you know, created a lot of buzz and here he beats Mayweather's protege. So I think they probably felt that that would be, of the two men certainly, yeah, uh, that that would be the best, um, the best option for them. And uh, Floyd, it, um, it looks like Madonna kind of goes with his history of picking opponents. He seems to pick guys who are coming off big, you know, wins. I mean, do you feel that the momentum of that Madonna has that it's a uh, it's the right choice in, in your eyes? Well, you know, look, you can, you know, it, people can look at Madonna and say, you know, he's probably a few other people right now though at 147 at least which is where Mayweather feels more, most comfortable and I don't fault Mayweather really for not going up in weight he's, he's, if he, he's barely a, he's just about a 147 pounder he's not a true 154 pounder or, or in those, that weight range so if you're going to pick from the 147 pound pool that is available to him given boxing politics um you know, I don't. I I think he chose somebody that at least we thought would resonate with the public, who has had a big win, and who would, you know, uh, potentially at least because he's a puncher and because he's an aggressive fighter, could potentially create something, you know, interesting. I mean, the other, in in my opinion, the all, the one person, the um, the other person who is available to him at 147, who could at some point, in my opinion, be a true challenger, is Keith Thurman. He's not ready right now. He, he needs a fight or two before he's ready to, I think, to compete with a Floyd Mayweather. Now, um, as far as Amir Khan, what kind of letdown do you think he's feeling after he's obviously expressed how much he would have wanted to face Flo Floyd? So I think he had this sense that he was going to get the fight um, and, and thought he was going to. So it's difficult for him. And the other, uh, you know, he, he bailed, in effect, on a fight with Devin Alexander, um, I guess, because he thought this was the fight he was going to get and he thought somehow it would interfere with that, though I don't know that it would have. Um, but I, I think at this juncture, uh, you've got to be feeling very disappointed, but on on the plus side for him, there's all kinds of entertaining and interesting matches that will be probably not quite as lucrative, certainly, but will could be lucrative for him. You know, the welterweight division, which is where he's at now, has a number of different fighters that are available to him. So I would think he's been, he's been you know, adding to his problem is that he was hoping to cash in on that big fight, and now he's he's been inactive for a long, long time. So, he's, he is facing a couple of, an interesting conundrum. Um, you know, if Mayweather, he will definitely be favored over Maidana. Uh, if he wins the fight, um, what options do you think will be there for his September fight uh, and for him to close out a year, you know? I, honestly, I don't know. You know, that's tricky because it's, it, you know, I think he, Floyd faces a, an interesting question, you know, at 147, with who's, who he can fight, you know, again, given boxing's politics, um, I don't know where he goes, you know, uh, I mean, I'm sure if Manny Pacquiao beats Bradley, which is certainly no given, um, to me, that's a, that's a pick em fight, at least I see it that way. Um, you know, the big you and cry to create a Pacquiao fight, you know, whether that's possible or not possible, you know, it's debated constantly. Um, but if that's not the case, uh, then you know, I don't. I'm not exactly sure what what uh, what he does. Surely he could move up to 154, and there, there's a number of people waiting for him, including Ariel 
Bobby Lara. Um, well, I, I don't know that he wants to do that. And, uh, and again, as I said earlier, I don't think it's mandatory for him to do that. You know, he's come up in weight to 147. Uh, that's the weight that, you know, uh, he doesn't even walk around at 154, 155, 160. You know, he walks around maybe at 150. So, um, so I don't think fighting at 147. And I don't know if something like Keith Thurman would be ready for him in September. Maybe he would. Uh, and maybe that's, you know, I don't know if, uh, you know, from a marketability standpoint, is that a fight that would, you know, that interest the casual boxing fans. For the people that know the sport, they know that Thurman is becoming, I think, a very terrific 147 pounder. But I don't know if he'll be, he would be ready to give as big a challenge, uh, you know, at that 